guys it's Rochelle from Monolane Furniture again in Sydney sunny Sydney now blue skies you never know what you're gonna get um, this is sort of a part two of yesterday's yesterday I did the coffee table in Purico Fossil today I'm gonna do the drawers for that coffee table but I'm gonna be wallpapering them so I thought that it'd be a good idea just to separate the two so this is easier for me to direct people to certain processes rather than I'm to go through the entire video so here's the drawers let's get on to it Right, here they are. You will have seen in yesterday's video that I removed the hardware, filled the holes, and now I've, I've scuff sanded this. Um, now I'm going to prime it with the same primer that I used on the um, table. So this is the hang on, Purico Grey Base Blocker. Oh God, turn it around, Rach. Grey Base Blocker. So this will just give the wallpaper a little bit better of um, a base to stick to, the glue for it. And it'll just ensure that I've got consistency really throughout the piece. I just like that. I could probably have just scuff sanded this and, and put it straight on, but um, I just prefer to make sure I've got a good adhesion with uh, when I do wallpapering. Because let's be honest, things can go wrong. And with me, they generally do. Yesterday was a nightmare day. I spilt paint everywhere. I literally tipped a whole tub. I was doing another uh, another video yesterday of fixing a drawer with um, glue and clamps. Well, I tipped the glue everywhere. In the end, I thought, sod it. I'll do this. I'll find another broken chip thingy and show you. But that was a fail. I made more work than I fixed. So I've just given this coffee table away. Fixed the drawer, gave it away. <laughs> it's all good. Right, so that's that one. Is that going to fall over? Probably. We're good. Oh, I could just light that down on there, couldn't I? That'd be sensible. That's what I put it there for. Sometimes my stupidity astounds me. So sleek brushes seem to be my more and more go-to. There's a, two reasons for that. One is I really like them. Two is um, I let my favorite Klingon sit in the sun. It was in a bag, but I, it sat in the sun and it's gone crispy. I've tried to clean it, it's not happening, so I need to scrub it properly. So I'm just going with these, but to be honest, I really like them because they're so light and I might just go through all of them and chop the handles down because I only hold them like that anyway. And um, when they're really short, you can get into really all the nooks and crannies. I just find it really comfortable, but it just depends on what you're comfortable with. Right, so I'll let this dry and then we'll come back and get some wallpapering done. What do you reckon? Sound good? Right, time to get some wallpaper on these drawers. So, I'm going with wallpaper that I bought by the meter from Capriol Shabby Chic. I believe you can actually buy it by the um, the roll too, but they don't, it's not on the website, that's, that it doesn't say that on the website from what I can see. But um, from comments that I saw last night in one of the groups, you can do it, just um, contact them directly I guess. So it's only a really small and narrow area that I'm going to be wallpapering. Just the, the top of this, I'm not doing the whole drawer. I'm not too bothered about this section matching the other section. It's all from the same um, piece of paper, uh, wallpaper. So I'm just going to use that as my matching rather than, I'm not going to try and match up the, the print. Right, so. I'll just cut two pieces from it. It doesn't need to be exact size because to get the edges off, I'm going to sand it. I'm just going to use a sanding block, sanding sponge. So I'm just cutting a piece to make it easier to work with, right? So it's not so huge. 
and then all I'm going to be worried about is to make sure that it's straight. So what I'm going to do first is mix up a little bit of glue. So I'm using the Shelley's PVA wood glue, which is Aquadia from Bunnings, I think I got this. Um, and I'm just going to water it down a bit. Not too much. I'm not sure what ratio others use. I don't know either. Maybe 8, 70 glue, 30 water, maybe. Something like that. You know me in numbers. I don't really do them. And I'm just using little um, sleep brushes, sample pot brush. I guess that's what they called. So all it's doing is just watering it down a little bit. So making sure it stirs in well. It's a cute little pot, isn't it? This is a little um, fusion test pot. I think these are 37 mil. They're $10 or something though for one little pot. That's a lot of money, isn't it, for 37 mil. That was in the days when I didn't know there were other brands out there. Nice paint though, but other brands for me. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put it on the drawer and on the back of the wallpaper. And I don't really want to go on the overhang if I can help it. I'll try and hold this with my feet. It's a bit awkward doing it on my, uh, the way I've got it set up, but I've got the coffee table is still on the big um, trolley, so I can't really get on that. That's where I would normally work. So I'm just putting it on this midsection where I want it to stick to and make sure that I'm getting it all on the edges because that's if it's going to lift anywhere. That's where it'll lift. Oh, there's one of Bailey's hairs again. She gets everywhere, that girl. Right. So that's the top of the drawer there. So I want it facing up that way. So I'll put it on the back of here too. Definitely would be easier to be working on a flat surface, but sometimes you don't have it the easiest way you like, do you? Can you even see me? Sorry. Oh, I can't move it a minute. So I'm just putting the glue on the back of the paper. And then I'll put it in place. Right. So that's the top of the drawer. So this is the way I want it. All I'm interested in is making sure that it's straight. And I'll use these lines to, to marry that up. Yeah, that's, I'm happy with that. Right, so push it down. Some people use a roller to do this um, because this is embossed I don't really want to do that I don't want to flatten all this surface out so I'm just going to hold it down right that's stuck pretty well so we'll leave that one leave that there Oop. now same again here's my mixture Yeah, so you don't want this too runny. I've done it before and I've, when I've been playing around and made it too runny and it, it just moves around too much and takes forever to dry and then it'll lift. So I'd say I've gone here about 70, 30, maybe a bit less water. But I've seen others use it um, much more water. So I don't know, I suppose you just play around with it. I do anyway. You know that. You know that. Right, which way up is this going? That's the top of the drawer. That way. So all I'm doing is just making sure the pattern's facing the same direction. But other than that, I don't really care that it's not going to be matching. I don't. Yeah, push it down. Right, so I will come back when that is dry. And then we need to take off the edges and paint it to match the table. Right, I've left it about an hour and it's all stuck down well. So now I just need to take the edges off. So what I'm using is um, a cork sanding block and then I'm just wrapping around some 100 grit sandpaper around it. 
Oh, I'm just going to brush it down. It's a bit of a tight one though. Do you know what? I'm going to take it off that because I don't really have much room. Because there's not much of an edge there. So I'm just brushing down and then it will peel away that edge. And then you get a nice clean line. I love that. I love how simple that is. So I'll just show you me doing this one. Now, it's, I'm going on to the side there. It doesn't matter because I'm going to be painting there anyway and it's not going through to the painted area. But my priority is getting this clean line. Can you see? How nice is that? Hmm. Sounds like I've got a delivery come in. I've placed another order with Capriol. When was it? When did I do the gold spray? And I ran out of the gold spray on those. Um, yeah, that's working all right if I go crossways like that. If you go in a crossways like that, though, make sure you don't come onto this area. Um, yeah, I placed another order with Capriol when I was doing the when I ran out of the Krylon gold spray. So I'm hoping that arrives today or tomorrow. Not that I've got any project like that, but but I added some other stuff. I got more Stamperia decoupage. There. So I'm going to carry on doing this. And then I'll come back when I've done both of them. You can see how well it's stuck down. So that's worked really well. So it's going to take me a little bit of time to go through and get this off because the paper is quite thick. I'll come back when that's done and then we get painting on it. Okay, that's all that done. I'm really, that's all that done. Does that make sense? That's all that done. Yeah, it sounds it. All right, let me just scrape that little bit there. So a little bit of wallpaper stuck there. Um, I've got a really nice edge. It's already primed all around the edges. So now I want to go in with the paint. So if you haven't watched yesterday's video, which was doing the coffee table, which these drawers are part of, I'm using Purico Fossil. And it's beautiful. Initially I thought it was a beige and it looks like a beige in a tub. But when it goes on, it's more like a greyish. Really, really nice. It's nice to have a, a grey tone without any um, blue in it. So I really like this. So I'm just going straight over. I haven't put anything on the wallpaper now. It's paintable wallpaper, so you don't need to. So all I, I'm going to put just um, single draw pulls on these. So I filled the holes, the existing holes, and I'm just going to have to drill a new hole. It's literally just going to be a single, um, simple draw pull. Because the table's pretty enough, it doesn't need anything um, over going overboard on the draw pulls, in my opinion. And obviously the draw pull, uh, the wallpaper is lovely too. So it's got enough going on. It doesn't need anything fancy. So I'll do two coats of this. See, it looks like, I don't know if it looks beige in there. When it's going on now, it looks beige. But when it dries, it's like a grey, a light grey. Really pretty. So I'll show the final photos in this video. Yesterday, I didn't because it wasn't finished. So uh, this is part two when you get to see the reveal in this one. So I'll put it all together after I've got two coats on this. I think it'll only be two coats. I did two coats plus a, a primer on the, on the table itself, but I'm getting good coverage on the wallpaper. So I don't think I'll need three coats. And the, there's already a primer around the edges, so really happy with this. So this is a table I picked up for free. I get some really nice stuff. I'm really lucky. Some lovely people around here. So I'm having some drawers dropped off today, picked up. So the drawers I did yesterday have been picked up and they're dropping off um, a tall boy for me as well, I believe. 
just that they don't need and they said that I could have. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to paint it in the this colour I've decided because it's really lovely. So and it will be suitable for a boy or a girl. So I'm going to donate that to Heart Kids. So that's something nice for them, like customer to have done, isn't it? Right. Leave those to dry and get the table finished off. There they are, draw pulls are on and they're in situ. How nice is that? So happy with that. So um, this is part two, obviously. I've split it up purpose, purposefully or intentionally so that I've got somewhere to refer people to when they're asking about wallpapering rather than having to go through the whole video. So there we are. I'll get video, I'll get some photos now. So the, the photos at the end of this video are going to be the same as the photos at the end of yesterday's video. So I'm happy. Thanks for sticking with me guys. If you could like and subscribe I would love you forever. Oh behind me these are the drawers that have just been given to me um, and these are going to be donated to I think the charity is called Heart Kids. So I'm going to paint that in this colour that I've just done. So the Purico Fossil. I'll change the draw pulls probably. Or I might actually um, just spray paint them black actually. Um, yes, yeah, so that's going to be going into a, a raffle for Heart Kids. And if I do it in that fossil colour, it'll be good for girls or boys. So perfect. Have a great night, guys.